So Infinity's been in South Africa going on two years now, and yet... And I love them. Just I know that. you Just love them. I know you do. But still, there are a lot of people who not only don't love them, they don't even know them. Because they're stupid. <laughs> they, they look at the, the badge and they say, what car is this? So, we thought rather than us giving you the spiel about what Infinity actually is... Because I don't find... think I can be objective. I mean, of course I can. <laughs> we thought we'd phone a dealership. There's only four in the country. So we're going to phone one and find out all the details and ask some of the stupid questions we assume that they've been getting. Oh, so how easily it connects. I love it. Good afternoon, Ruben speaking. Ruben, you're speaking to your hand. How are you doing, bud? Well, in here, sir. Yeah, I like it, man. Listen, Ruben, you must help me out here. I was having some beers with my mates and we were talking cars and yes. Infinity came up. So I was like, you know, what the hell is it? What, what's Infinity? You guys are yeah. Chinese, eh? Uh, no, we're not Chinese. We're Japanese. <laughs> okay, and you new brand. Just come to South Africa. We've been here two years now, yeah. But is your brand two years old? Because I've never heard of Infinity no, no, before. No, 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 it's not two years old. It's a very old brand, but we've been in South Africa for two years. What is it? Luxury? What? What? What is it? Yeah, it is a premium brand. It is a. Uh, let me let me put it plainly. It's a premium brand of nothing. So you, the uh, Lexus to Toyota, yeah. same kind of concept. Ah, oh, okay, cool. That makes that makes. And is all the cars lacquer? Un unbelievable. I'm not saying that because I work for the product, I've just joined the, the, uh, with the Infinity. I've been with Nissan for a long time, but I'm lucky. Uh, with, with value for money, I don't think there's anything in the market that, and the premium segment that you're actually going to match up to. Worldwide, if you read about Infinity, you'll understand. I mean, we're one of the biggest sellers in the state. Yeah. The bigger than BMW and Mercedes. Okay. So then, for putting out of South Africa at the moment, no. They're not expecting to do a high volume, so they never had that expectation. So, can I, like if I buy a car, what do I do from a service perspective? Because be, where, where are the dealers? Where are you been? I'm, I'm in Joburg. Okay, you're in Joburg, you bring it, you phone me a day before, you tell me, Ruben, my car is booked in for a service. You bring your car in, you fetch a loan car, which I supply you with, and you're on your way. When you're done, you bring that loan car back and you fetch your car. And if I'm not, like, if, just a stupid question, if I'm not Joburg, I mean, where, where, where are you guys in SA? Durban, yeah. Pretoria, Cape Town. Okay, so you're in the major centres, so I suppose that, yes. that makes sense. Okay, Ruben, listen, thanks, eh? Because, I mean, at least now I know a little bit more. I had no flipping idea what, infi what Infinity <laughs> was. You know what, sir? Let, let me be honest. You'll be open on a Saturday from 9 to 1. Yeah. You, I think you owe it to yourself to come and just drive the car. I'm not saying you buy the car. Come and have a look and drive the car. Come and see me. I'll take you for a drive and I'll show you the car. So we've been for a drive and we are, I think, suitably impressed. The diesel engine is a little bit unrefined. It's got enough cruising power to enjoy it around town and, and on the open roads. But the real highlight of this car is the technology. And that's why we swapped seats, because <laughs> Marius is the gadget man, so he's going to show us what Apparently it's Apparently like. I know what's, what's going on. Look, I think the fact that we've now got two screens, when I got in I thought, isn't this too much? Yeah. But it actually works really well and I find it super intuitive. Mm -hmm. A lot of BMWs, Mercs, you actually struggle to find your way and yeah. navigate. This is so flipping straightforward with the menu. They've got all the driver options set up in here. It's very quick to connect your phone to it. The top screen, you can go and set your rev counter. You can set up your clock, your time. Everything runs off of that. But this is like an app-based mm. iPhone, essentially. Mm, and the way and you, you swipe it. And you can and swipe tap. through and you can go through, touch and go into all things. Mm. It is all about performance. That's why I like with Infinity. So a lot of stuff that's been carried over from Nissan, from GTR, they've got their little driving performance right. screen so you can see your G-forces and, you know. Well, maybe that's more suitable in the, in the, the V6 here. Yeah. Yeah, and and the this is hardly a sporty car. The two liter turbo is still coming as well, but I mean, yeah. they've, they've got all those little gadgets. Yeah. The biggest talking point though, is that you can obviously choose to add safety onto your car. Right. Now it doesn't mean the car doesn't come safe. It comes with ABS, airbags, everything else. Yeah. But all those things that people whinge about, lane departure, blind spot, spot assist, all that sort of stuff, is a is a pack option. Mm. I think Infinity is quite clever with that. You're paying 27,000 Rand and you get all of that. What I like is I don't want it on. So with a push of one button, on the I can wheel. turn it off. There's quite a lot of buttons on it. There are, and, and, but they're fast buttons. So if I push that, the car is now in Safer. safety mode. Mm. If I push it off, it takes all those features off, which Do you for not me think is cool. there's a little bit too much technology? I, I, th I find it very, very simple. Mm. Seriously. I played with it straight away, push this, go into the menu and everything is there. Mm. The big talking point though is we saw it a few years back. Everybody started bringing in drive-by-wire where your accelerator yes. was. Now they've gone steering by wire. They've got a yeah. fancy name for it's it. It's called direct active steering. Now I know people are going to whinge about it. I personally don't think you need it. 
you know, all the Infinities I've driven are amazing, and the weight of the wheel feels yeah. really good. I personally don't yeah. like it. I feel like the, it's taking some of the control away from you as the driver. But the nice thing is you can set your personal driving mode. So when you go into that, you can say, well, listen, how heavy do I want the wheel to yeah. feel? Yeah. But more importantly, how quick do I want it to respond? So I can set both of that. Yeah. So you really can personalize your car, whether it be a gimmick or not. Mm. I think it's probably where it's going to go. But the nice thing is no motor involved now at all in yeah. terms of powering that steering unit. The Q50's dynamics were co-developed by multiple Formula One champion Sebastian Vettel. So in sport mode, the car is very direct. Through the slalom, the car feels settled and it felt under control, let's say. They've also got active lane assist, which is quite an interesting one, mm. because it actually positions the car at the best, smoothest point in the lane. The price point, $399, is where this diesel starts. That's a it great starts, price. Yeah. This one we're in is $470. But you don't need all of the extras. Mm. You know, so if you want to add those extras to the car, yeah, fantastic. You but you're going to get all this luxury mm. when you buy an Infinity, because it is a luxury thing. Big thing for me, Lindsay. Nissan switch gear, that's what people bitched and moaned about. <laughs> it's all gone. Yeah, it's lovely. It's got a sporty feel inside, it looks very refined. I know you sometimes whinge about this piano black and oh the no. scratching, and obviously you're going to have Show a problem the with the fingerprints, but it really is a nice, classy interior. I really enjoy this car. I find it quite stiff to drive. Mm. It's, it's quite a rigid body shell. It sets up the bumps all right, mm. but it is stiff. Mm. But that's a nice thing, because that's the sporty design that's inherent in it. But mm. you don't find yourself chattering over drive, bumps. But the drive is not sporty. Well, it's a 2.2 diesel. I you know know. I mean? You're going to have the same in a C-Class Merc, you know, the same in a BMW. You're yeah. going to have... It is a Merc engine. So. You know, well, there we go. Did you say it's unrefined? <laughs> <laughs> Merc's going to like that. <laughs> exactly. I think I'd probably take a Lexus over this. Really? Yeah. Sure. Looks like a Lexus. It does look like a Lexus. It's got a bit of a Japanese Lexus feel to the front end of it, but people just need to drive the car. At price point, you can't compete. Mm. Well, with people like Ruben in the dealerships inviting you for coffee and stuff, you know, they into a good thing. We should tell him that we actually phoned him and my name is <laughs> not your honey. We should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, Ruben. It was don't, good fun. Don't worry, Infinity. Ruben did, a, did good. He did good. <laughs>